Hi everyone, welcome back. Myself Aishan Tripathi, mentor and problem setter at Geeks for Geeks. And in this video, I will discuss the solution to the problem product array puzzle. In this problem, you are given an array nums and you have to construct a product array nums such that nums of i is equal to product of all elements of nums except nums of i. So let's see how we can solve this problem. So some of you might wondering of a solution where we find the product of all the elements and uh, to compute the product of all the elements except nums of i just simply divided by the value of the current index. So what I'm trying to say. So first I will find the total product that is product of all the elements. So for this example, it is equal to 5 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. And uh, answer for index i that is product of all the elements except uh, nums of i or a of i whatever it is. So I will just simply compute using this formula p total product dividing, divided by the value of uh, value of current index. So that is uh, a of i. So answer for 0 total product that is a uh, p 5 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and divided by dividing by a of 0 that is a 5. So overall this 5 and uh, this 5 would get cancelled out. So it is a uh, 6 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and this is the required answer product of all the elements except 5. Then what would be the answer of 1? So in the same way I will compute the answer of 1 that is a uh, total product 5 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and uh, dividing it by a of uh, a of 1 that is 6. So this 6 and uh, this 6 will get cancelled out. So it would be equal to 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 that is product of all the elements except the element at index 1. So this formula would work for such, such, such type of test cases but it would not pass all the type of test cases. Consider this example. So here what would be the value of uh, p? So this is a kind of edge case where any element, if any element is equal to 0, then the total product, the value of p would be equal to 0 because 0 multiplied by something which is equal to 0. So in this case, in this case, uh, the value of p which is equal to 7 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 0 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 7 which is equal to 0. And uh, now you cannot use the previous, previous formula that is you cannot say answer of i as a p divided by a of i because in this case the value of p is equal to 0 and 0 divided by something, 0 divided by something is equal to 0. That is the answer of i for all the possible values of i 0 to n minus 1, it is equal to 0. And this is this is not the this is not the correct answer. So this formula we cannot use. So how we can solve this problem? So we can solve this problem with the help of a prefix and suffix. For every index i, for every index i, you have to compute this product, the product of product of the values which are at the indices from 0 to i minus 1 and uh, the product of the elements product of the element which are at the indices from i plus 1 to n minus 1 so this is prefix this is a prefix and uh, this is suffix cool and then we'll multiply these two together so so that we get the answer so that uh, we get the answer for index i that is product of all the elements except uh, a of i cool and uh, how we can compute this prefix and suffix so for this thing we can use a variable temp and initialize this variable temp and one iteration for the prefix and one iteration for the suffix. So first of all, let me, so first of all, I will declare answer array. So answer of size n and initialize all the elements, initialize all the elements with one. Initialize all the elements with one. That is a product of empty array, which is equal to one. Cool. And uh, then, then next step, then the next step is to first compute the value of a prefix. So let me write here answer of answer of zero which has been initialized with 1, then answer of 1, all the values initialized with 1, and uh, answer of 2, and uh, answer of 3, and uh, then answer of 4, cool, which is also initialized with 1. So initialize the value of temp, initialize the value of temp with 1, so temp with 1, and now move in progressive order from left to right. So from i is equal to 0, from i is equal to 0, to n minus 1, first multiply the value of temp, and where temp is storing the product of uh, all the elements from 0 to i minus 1. Please listen it very carefully. Um, yeah, please try to pay more attention. Temp, temp variable temp will store the product of all the elements at the indices from 0 to i minus 1. So the first index, which is i is equal to 0, the value of a temp it is equal to 1, that is product of all the element, previous element, product of all the previous element. And uh, in previously, we do not have any other element. 0 is the first index, so that's why the value of temp is 1. 
So simply multiply this one in answer of 0. Cool. So the first step is to multiply temp in answer of i. Answer of i multiply by temp. And then update the value of temp. The update the value of temp. So temp multiplied by a of i. That is here I'm just simply expanding the expanding the pre prefix. And before moving to the next index, before moving to the next index, update the value of temp. So let me write it over here. The, this pseudo code and uh, the value of temp. Cool. So multiplied by multiplied by seven. And uh, then in the next next step, the value of i, the value of i is equal to one. So multiply temp in answer of i. So answer of i that is uh, one. Answer of one. Multiply here the value of temp, which is equal to seven. And uh, this is index zero. Index one, two, three, and four. Cool. And that is true as well for index one. The product of element which is in its left side is seven because there is only one element seven. So its product which is also equal to seven. Then update the value of ten. Update the value of temp. Multiply the value of a of i before before moving to the next index. That is seven multiplied by eight. And uh, in the next iteration, the value of i, the value of i which is equal to two. And so simply multiply here. Multiply here the value of a temp. So it is a seven multiplied by eight. Cool. And uh, here the product of all the indices which is in the left of two is seven multiplied by eight. And this is same as the requirement. So then update the value of ten. Temp that is multiplied by current value, which is equal to zero, which is equal to zero. And uh, in the next iteration, in the next iteration, the value of i, which is equal to three, and uh, simply multiply this uh, value of temp in answer of three. So seven multiplied by eight multiplied by zero, and uh, which is equal to zero. And it is simply equal to product of all the element which is in the left of three. And uh, then in the next iteration, before moving to the next iteration, update the value of uh, value of temp, value of temp, which is equal to multiplied by a of i. And uh, current value of i is equal to three, so multiply the value of a of three, and uh, which is nine. Cool. And uh, then in the next iteration, multiply this value in uh, answer of four because uh, next iteration for i is equal to four. So one multiplied by seven, multiplied by eight, multiplied by zero, multiplied by nine. Cool. And uh, it is product of all the all the indices, all the indices from zero to three that is uh, less than four. This is a prefix. And in the same progressive way, we compute the suffix. So yeah, this was a explanation from my end. Let me just show you the implementation. So first, I'm finding the size of the nums array, and uh, here I am having the answer vector. Add initializing all the elements with one. Then a value of temp for a prefix and uh, initializing it with one. Then iterate over all the indices and uh, answer of i multiplied by answer of i multiply equal to temp. That is uh, multiplying the product of all the previous element to the answer of i. And then updating the value of a temp that is adding, expanding the prefix, adding the current uh, current index that is i. And uh, the same thing goes for a suffix as well. And uh, then I am finally returning this uh, answer vector. The time complexity would be linear to n that is uh, order of n. And the space complexity, extra space that we are using is also linear because of this answer vector. So thank you so much for watching this video and have a good day.